This is a quick tutorial on getting started with Google Presentations. So the first thing you're going to want to do is sign into your email. And once you've signed into your Gmail account, you're going to see at the top where it says Drive and click that just the same way you would if you're going to start a Google document. And go over to the left side where you see the red Create button and click Create. And just under Google Documents, you'll see Presentation. Click on Presentation. And presentations are very similar to PowerPoint. Um, PowerPoint, you don't need an internet connection to show it, but you do need an internet connection with Google Presentation. So that's something to be aware of. If you're not sure you're going to have internet connection, you'll want to download your presentation in a different format and save it to your computer. So the first thing that you're going to be asked to do is to create or to choose a theme. So you can scroll through and see what's available. Just select one. And then once you have your theme, the very first thing I would suggest you do is to change the title of your presentation. And we'll use the naming convention that we use for everything, which is class name, hyphen, last name, hyphen, title of the assignment. Click OK. And then you can edit your presentation. So you just click on the text where it says click to add title. And I'll give it a subtitle. And you can say which class you're in or the date or just leave it as is. And you can click on the text box and you can go up here and you can actually change the text format. You can make the sizing bigger or smaller. You can shift it, just grab the text box, move it up and down. So there's lots of ways that you can manipulate the text, the color of the text, the size of the font um, with the tools that are up here. And then, like I said, you can change the actual color of the font if you want to make it pop. So if you have a, a certain background and you want your text to stand out a little bit more. Um, the white text here stands out because you have a darker background, but if you have a lighter background, you're definitely going to want a darker text color. To add a slide, you simply press this red plus button, and then you can give your slides a title. You can add text here. You can also go up to insert and insert a text box if you're working with a slide that doesn't have a text box where you want it. You can upload an image, so if you saved an image to your computer or your desktop, you can grab it and you can upload that image. You can link out to another resource or website. Um, you can embed a video. So for those of you who are creating your own YouTube channel videos, you can search YouTube. You can actually search by a YouTube URL. So the actual, you, if you have the video you want to insert, um, you just copy and paste the URL and stick it in there. And then your video will surface right inside your slide here. You can also, um, there's shapes, there's other, you know, you can create tables, there's lots of things that you can do. And just like with any um, Google app that you're using, the benefit of Google presentations is that you can go up to the corner and click this blue share button and you can share it with other people. So if you're working with a few classmates, you can enter their emails directly in here and you can let them edit the presentation, which means they can edit the slides just like you. Um, you can allow them to comment. So if you're just looking for someone to give you feedback, maybe you only want them to leave comments that aren't actually changing the content of the slides, or maybe you're sharing it with someone so they can just see what you've created, but you don't want them to change it or comment on it and you can click view. And then once you've done that, you click share and save. Um, um, I'm going to click cancel since I'm not sharing this one with anyone. Um, you can change the background, the layout, theme. You can even add transitions. I would be a little cautious about transitions as they can be a little bit distracting during a presentation, so just use them sparingly. So as you're working with Google presentations, know that you can add as many slides as you like. You can work with layout features here at the top. Um, and when you're finally done with it, if you do want to publish it to the web, you can get a unique URL and 
share that with other people. You can also download it as a PowerPoint. Know that the formatting might be a little bit wonky, um, but you can save it in that format or as a PDF so that if you're not sure if you're going to have internet connection, there are other formats that you can save your Google presentation in. So those are just some of the basics of creating a Google presentation using some of the tools that are available to you um, and then really thinking about for my students inserting media because we want to keep our presentations really visual if you can include pictures video that's great please don't forget to cite your information your images to give credit to where you found these things